It's Thursday here at Gillette Stadium. The Patriots just wrapped up their second day of practice this week before they head down to New Jersey for their first road trip of the season against the Jets. I'm Meredith Gorman, joined by our Nesson Patriots beat reporter Dakota Randall. And Dakota, it looks like the Patriots are getting a little bit of a boost on offense in terms of injuries, judging by the players that have been back at practice this week. Yeah, I think the big one is Trent Brown, who missed last game with a concussion. Uh, got a pay raise earlier in the week. You can insert your own conspiracy theory if you want to about that. But either way, uh, he's back on the field. Uh, and that's a great sign for the Patriots because, you know, myself and some other people have said that as bad as things have looked on the offensive line, if they can get the full group back, they actually have the talent to be one of the better units in the NFL. There's just been no inconsistency throughout the summer. So hopefully Trent Brown back at left tackle. It will be interesting to see what they do on the right side. I think that should be Vidarian Lowe. He looked good the other day. Calvin Anderson has really struggled, but regardless, uh, that's huge for the Patriots because I think central to all their problems so far this season are the offensive line and fixing it is a huge priority. Yeah, and when you look at the offense as a whole, obviously one thing that's really come up the last couple of weeks and something the players touched on after the game when they lost to the Dolphins on Sunday is the need to execute. They said they have no problem believing in themselves, but it comes down to just actually being able to finish drives on the field. What do you think they're going to need to do to get past this really tough Jets defense? Well, I think finishing drives. You know, I think uh, unless something strange happens and Zach Wilson plays well, you have to assume the Jets aren't going to score a lot of points in this game. So if the Patriots get up to 17-20, that should be all it takes. And that's going to require them just finishing a drive or two. Now, that's been the issue going back to last season. They have, they've put together promising drives, and then it's a penalty. It's a turnover. It's some sort of negative play that sends them back, and they can never recover from it. And I think, again, it goes back to the offensive line because it seems like whenever the Patriots get going, it's either a pressure on Mac Jones, a sack, a penalty by the offense, of line and it's also limited their ability to run things like play action or do anything other than run plays out of shotgun empty uh, so hopefully you know getting the offensive line straightened out will allow them to execute in all areas of the game including getting back to running the football uh, which is something they usually do well and haven't so far this season that's something that Patriot Center David Andrews spoke about today he said that the biggest thing is practice right stringing good practices together especially with all the movement that we've seen on the offensive line in terms of injuries and whatnot over the last couple of weeks but shifting the page here to Zach Wilson he's notoriously struggled against the Patriots now that Aaron Rodgers is out for presumably the rest of the season with that Achilles injury we're going to see Wilson again this weekend do you expect him to fare better this time around no no I don't I Listen, I, I do think there's always that chance that, like, the Patriots have won 14 games in a row against the Jets. Every dog has his day, and if you're a Patriots fan, you're worried, like, is this the day Zach Wilson just get, gets lucky and has a good day against the Patriots defense? I just don't see it. This Patriots defense is better than it has been the last couple of years. They have more weapons at all three levels of the defense. Uh, I think they're going to pressure Zach Wilson throughout. Uh, I like their coverage better than it has been in the past. I think this is setting up for another very bad Zach Wilson day, and, and compounding that, potentially uh, could be a tropical storm or a tropical cyclone, whatever you call it, that looks like it could be a direct hit in the East Rutherford, New Jersey area on Sunday. You know, we'll have to see if that lasts into the game time, uh, you know, a little early to tell, but if it's rainy, um, you know, that spells even more trouble for Zach Wilson, who again has struggled mightily against the Patriots defense. Surprise, surprise, another rainy weekend in the New England area, but Dakota will be at the game on Sunday. Better pack your raincoat and raincoats. I'll bring it. Yeah, I'll bring it. <laughs> PNC Bank, helping to make banking easier.